Hi, I'm Spike Edney, keyboards for Queen. And here we are doing the Queen Adam Lambert shows and um, using the wonderful new Korg Kronos. I've been using Korg keyboards for oh, a good 10 or so years. Started off with a Triton, moved on to the M3 and took um, delivery of this lovely machine a couple of weeks ago. In fact, I've been through five of them at the moment. Now, that doesn't mean to say there's anything wrong. We had three for a project in uh, North America called the Queen Extravaganza, which is the ultimate Queen celebration. And I used three on that. And then we've got two here for the Real Queen show. Um, so, the thing is, Queen music covers 25 year to 30 years. And so I need a whole range of sounds that either reflect the early 70s right the way up to the 90s. And that's what we've been doing. And we've been, along with my lovely technician, Jules Bowen. Give her a wave, hello Jules. She actually presses the buttons and I just direct. And we've been using, we have some big sounds to do, um, lots of piano. Um, uh, the later Queen stuff becomes quite um, orchestral. So, such as the show must go on, we've got a big etc etc combined with um, moving bits combination of pad and arpeggiator moving to working together um, lots of splits and um, over the years we found that both the m3 and the Kronos is really good for splits because you can do anything you like so and the most complicated song I have to do which is a combination of arpeggiator, pads, piano, and vocoder is a song called Radio Gaga. So we put them all together. We have piano, pad, and a string. Then we have a piano with um, a bell. of it is is that we can balance it and EQ everything and add whatever effects we like we tend not to add too many effects let that happen at the front don't mess with the sound too much but in um, a smaller gig I probably would use uh, far more effects some delays some choruses and stuff so add to, to that Vocoder, we love the vocoder, very features a lot in Queen stuff. Um, famous on Radio Gaga, radio, and also in a kind of magic. Um, and I also use it to um, beef up the uh, backing vocals because Queen are infamous for their multi layered uh, BVs. And we have five voices on the stage, and I can double that up with the vocoder, gives it a lot more body. Really, really useful. So we love that. Um, um, my basic sounds would probably be piano. And what I like about the piano, the fabulous new piano sounds, is that you have a choice, and it may seem um, very subtle to say choose between a German or a Japanese, but some of the um, early Queen stuff were recorded on German style piano, grand piano, so we can replicate that. And then the later ones would, be, would have been done on more modern sounding, brighter sounding pianos, and we, so I can replicate the sound for the period that we're dealing with. And so... So that kind of thing. Like to add... So behind it, a little quiet pad to give it a bit of ethereal quality. It's almost um, hiding in the background there, but it just gives it, when you're holding for something, waiting for a cue, you can have that nice, it fills the space, so you don't have to keep hitting the bloody keys to wait, wait for the guitarist to make his mind up. Nothing personal, Brian. Um, 
And then, if you add some strings, great string sounds. And I think, basically, a piano, a pad or string sound, and an organ should get you through any gig, really, and everything else is definitely a bonus. So we had some horns, for example. There's a song called Under Pressure, which has quite a lot going on. This, here's another example of the splits. I mean, in previous years, I would set up one sound with a piano and strings. And if I needed to go to an organ, although I do have a Korg CX-3, um, if it's not convenient to use it or it's only for one song, of course, I can just incorporate it into the split. So, um, here we go. A song called Under Pressure. I'll turn into Robin Hood, it's fantastic. And then in the middle there's, um, we need an organ patch. So the splits are allowing me to deal with that without flipping backwards and forwards. So very pleased about that, that's all good. The sample memory has got, is improved. We found that um, on the M3 we had to buy loads of extra memory to load it up. But this time around, we've got everything we need. So if I'm gonna use something, here's a kind of magic. Starts off with a quite famous intro. Now that's a pretty long sample and it's just for a background effect to use at the beginning of the song. Um, and before we had lots of problems, I had to keep re-triggering it and re-looping it and all kinds of things. Don't have to do that anymore. Very pleased about that. So um, what we found is very easy to program. Great range of sounds, love the piano, love the orchestral sounds, all sound very realistic uh, and easy to blend in. And especially if you've had any previous Korg experience like from the M3 or the Triton, you'll find uh, you're, it's very easy to get to grips with. And um, so well, I've used it for six shows now and learning more about it all the time, looking forward to taking it around the world next year on a big tour, fingers crossed. So uh, what can I say? Thank you very much, Alice Galley. Thank you very much, Korg. Great job. We continue to love you. <laughs>